So I saw this combinatorics problem online, and at first I thought, this is going to be easy. But it was actually pretty tough. So let me show you what it was, and I want to see if you could solve it. So a candy store sells five different colors of candy. We'll call them blue, green, purple, red, and yellow. And they want to sell bags of 100. Each bag has 100 pieces of candy in it. Okay, so far not so bad, but we have some constraints. Each color should appear in the bag at least 15 times and at most 25 times. And so the question is, how many different possible bags meet these constraints? So how many ways can we do this? Of course, I, want, I would like you to pause the video, try this on your own. It's a little tough. And then once you're done, come back and you can see how I solved it. All right, welcome back. So, Let's just get some notation down so we don't have to deal with colors. What we're trying to count is the number of groups of five. So let's call them x1, x2, up to x5 in 15, the interval 15 to 25, which is a subset of z to the fifth such that x1 plus, plus x5 equals 100. OK, so this is what the question is really asking us to do. Find a group of five integers between 15 and 25 that add up to 100. OK, so the first thing we should note is this set is in bijection with an easier to count set. So this is in bijection with, well, let's subtract 15 from each of these numbers. So this is in bijection with the number of x1 through x5 in 0 to 10, such that uh, x1 plus, plus x5 is equal to, well, not 100. We subtracted off 15 from each of these entries in our bijection. So it would be 100 minus 15 times 5, which is 25. OK? So we want to count this instead. Well, it's the same number. OK, we want to count the number of, of groups of five numbers between 0 and 10, including them, such that they add up to 25. OK, so before we can answer this, we need a little bit of notation. So the definition, and if you've taken combinatorics, you've probably seen this notation before. But it's n multi choose k. And this is equal to the number of weak compositions of n into k parts. OK, what's a weak composition? It's a composition that allows some parts to be 0. OK, and that's we use the notation n multi choose k to, de to denote weak compositions of n into k parts. And a basic result in combinatorics is the following theorem n multi choose k is equal to n plus k minus 1 choose n. OK, so this is going to be the big result we use. So the number of weak compositions of n into k parts is equal to this. And what are we trying to count? We're trying to count weak compositions of 25 
into five parts such that no part is greater than 10. Okay? So we want to count number of weak compositions of 25. Um, into five parts such that no part is greater than 10. And so how do we do this? We're going to use the principle of inclusion-exclusion which says, so this is equal to, by inclusion, exclusion. So the number of weak compositions of 25 into five parts, such that no part is greater than 10, is equal to the number of uh, weak compositions Uh, of 25 into five parts such that at least zero parts are greater than 10. Okay, the first, it's kind of a weird sentence. At least zero are greater than 10, minus the same buildup, but at least one part plus at least two parts minus three parts uh, and so forth. Okay, so this is what the principle of inclusion-exclusion says. To find the number of weak compositions of 25 into five parts with exactly zero parts greater than 10, you find the number with at least zero greater than 10, subtract off the number with at least one part greater than 10, add back in the number with at least two parts greater than 10, and so forth until you run out of parts. Okay, and it turns out these are all pretty easy to count. Okay, so the number of weak compositions of 25 into five parts such that at least zero parts are greater than or equal to 10, well, that's just going to be 25 multi-choose five, right? There's no conditions. We're just taking a weak composition of, of 25 into five parts. And then we're gonna subtract off. Well, we need to first choose which of the parts is bigger than or equal to, or is bigger than 10. And then out of the remaining, so that's gonna take, at, take 11, um, a size 11 or greater. And so out of the remaining 14, we have to make a weak composition of 14. Okay, sorry, this is a weak composition. Plus, now we have to choose the two parts that are gonna be greater than 10. So five choose two times a weak composition of, we'll subtract off another 11. So three, a weak composition of three and five. Minus five choose three, you can see the pattern, right? And now this is a weak composition of negative eight of five. So this is zero. So it's just gonna be this alternating sum. 25 multi choose five minus five times 14 multi choose 5 plus 5 choose 2 times 3 multi choose 5. All right, and using our theorem, 
we know this is 29, choose 25, minus 5 times 18, choose 14, plus 10 times 7, choose 3. And you can type all of this into a calculator and get the final answer of 8,801. Okay, and so hopefully you learned a little bit today. Yes, yeah, so the main technique we used here, if you're not familiar, is the principle of inclusion, exclusion. Uh, and maybe in the future I could go into a more detail of why this this uh, process works. But today, um, you just got to trust me that it works. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.